they can come to the Hocken Library to view the documents firsthand or go online to a community website set up five years ago by Gurbaksh Kaur and her son. 26-year-old Harpreet is a fourth-generation New Zealander with a Master's in Religious Studies from the University of California, Santa Barbara. There's no denying that Professor McLeod's work is phenomenal. I mean, there's, there's no two ways about it. Uh, whether or not uh, anyone agrees with it is, is not the issue. The issue is that he's caused sick academics to react and he's caused the sick community re to react and caused them to engage their own history, their own religion, and to discover what the true history was and what the true meanings are. And has allowed Western academics and sex to kind of carry on that work and challenge it and engage it to kind of produce new work, new research, and continuing that uh, right up until today. And you can see that by the 50s, they actually had bought the tractors. You know. We can still access the interviews he's done with these um, our ancestors. You know, how important is that? You know, where do you get that? Um, if we try to do it now, we're definitely not going to get those, that's that valuable um, material from those original immigrants. So he's basically saved um, our, our hist very early history. Sikhs are now a thriving and prominent part of today's society, in India and around the world. Here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, they remain actively involved in the life of this multicultural country while ensuring that their centuries-old traditions are not lost. Drawing on her own multicultural heritage, Ruth is continuing Hugh's legacy as a teacher. Oh, I actually got into it because my parents <laughs> strongly suggested I did. We're not scared. Dad said, well, we just still think you should go for teaching. And um, Mum had always said to me she thought I would, should work with young children. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. He, he loves it and he likes to hear things, little stories that I've, I've said. He's always very interested and um, I think he's very, very proud. Yeah, a swirling, whirling snowstorm. In terms of the kind of community I needed to teach in, there was never any question for me. It needed to be in a multicultural um, environment. But what I want them to leave here with is a strong sense of a belief in their position in the community, that they belong here that they're a huge central part of it. That's what I want from them. Now 76, Hugh's work is far from over. Still passionate, the writing and research continue. Controversial or not, his work has stimulated interest in the history and religion of this previously little known group. For me, personally, the fact that this person from a culture different from mine, a religion different to mine, has spent his, uh, almost his entire adult life studying, the, studying us, and that he knows more, more about me than I know about myself. And that is just, it's overwhelming. It's just in here, in him. Um, he thinks, oh, things are a bit of a fuss about nothing if somebody wants to acknowledge what he's done. Um, because it's just what you do, it's what you work, and it's what he's passionate about, so I'm going to do it. There's no need to um, make a big deal about it. Mm, very humble, very, very humble person. It's been exciting and interesting, and at times challenging. And we've had a great time. <laughs> I take great pleasure in the friendship of the many six. I suppose that's the most, the best part of this work. And uh, counting them as friends in this operation would be for me, I suppose, the most important result of this work. 
well, once you get involved in it, you just want to go on. It's all, there's always more to learn, more to understand, more to realise. And uh, there's still plenty to learn that I, I don't know yet. You can go, I can go on learning many more years yet. I, I, I could um, move out to Hindu religion or something of that sort, but it wouldn't be the same. Well, the Hugh McLeod story doesn't quite end there. In next week's programme, we meet Hugh's granddaughter, Zoe Flery. And if you think she could be following in the footsteps of her learned grandfather, well, stand by, because we've got something of a surprise for you. Meet Bionic Pixie. Electropop musician, writer, dancer, Bionic is the alter ego of 22-year-old Zoe Flery. Few would know her Punjabi roots. I didn't really realise, I guess, until intermediate that maybe I did look a tiny a bit different because I always thought I just looked like everyone else. Bionic Pixie and her Back from the Future look is next week on Asia Down Under at its changed transmission time of 11.30 on Sunday morning. Namaste and see you soon. If you'd like to find out more about Sikhs in New Zealand or look for information about early Punjabi immigrants to New Zealand, go to this website. To read the original research on Punjabis in New Zealand conducted by Hugh McLeod, visit the Hocken Library in Dunedin. This program is made with funding from New Zealand On Air.